Hey, Mike, first time, long time. So, do the St. Peter's Peacocks ever play games on Peacock? Because, you know, they, they have the same name. Welcome, everybody, to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jerry Gare, and I represent the 904 from the 602. And today, we are talking about the Peacock game, the game in Brazil taking place week one, Friday night, between the Philadelphia Eagles and a to-be-determined opponent. We don't know if it's going to be the Cleveland Browns or the Green Bay Packers. It's going to be one of those two teams. But the NFL announced controversially earlier this week at the meetings in Orlando that that game would be behind the paywall. That game would be on NBC's exclusive streaming service, Peacock. You have to pay money to watch that game unless you live in the local market of one of the two teams playing in the game. Now, I've talked at length about this decision, how I hate it. I hate Peacock's involvement in the NFL. I hate games behind paywalls like that. Go check out my video on that. I'll leave a link in the upper right corner and the description below. But I wanted to bring up something that First Take mentioned yesterday on their broadcast. And Chris Mad Dog Russo, the other Mike of Mike and the Mad Dog, I love Chris Russo a lot. I listened to him religiously growing up. You, you had to when you were in New York as a sports fan. You love Mike and the Mad Dog. But I had to bring up what Chris Russo said about the Peacock game and just break down this argument because, look, I love the guy, but this makes no sense whatsoever. And it's one of the dumbest things I've heard in quite some time. At the end of the show, Chris Russo ranted about this Peacock game. And he said this. Okay. First party of the year, the Eagles open up the year in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Brazil. Brazil. Right. on Peacock. Yeah. What? <laughs> Peacock. So the Eagle fan who busts his butt to go to the link to see game after game and spends a fortune to do it, he's not going to fly to Brazil. He may not have Peacock. So he's going to miss the first game of the year so the NFL can make more money? I mean, really. All right, so... The Eagles fan that shows up to every game is not going to be able to access Peacock. They have to pay money to watch their team play. That's literally the only person that doesn't have to buy it. You're making up a, a false victim. That's literally the only person that doesn't need to buy it. NFL rules mandate that every game is shown over the air in local markets. What does that mean? It means that if you are in Philadelphia, you get the game over the air. I don't know what station would air the game. But you get the game over the air. You just had to read the press release to find that out if you didn't know that. I mean, it's been a rule since 1973 when they changed the blackout rules that every game has to be shown in the local market on over-the-air free TV. Unless it gets blacked out. And obviously this one would not get blacked out. Look at the press release. It said the Peacock exclusive regular season game will be broadcast on NBC stations in the competing team cities. The NFL is the only sports league that presents all regular season and postseason games on free, over-the-air television in local markets. It's the same as the Bills-Chargers game on Peacock last year. It's the same as the Dolphins-Chiefs wildcard game. They were shown locally. Now, the Eagles fan might not have Peacock that lives in Philadelphia, but they don't need it. They get the game on over-the-air television. You literally use an example for the only person that doesn't have to buy it. It's like this hypothetical example. Let's say that Disney World puts in a rule that says that, you know what? Gates are now going to open at 9.30 a.m. instead of 9. But the annual pass holders can still get in at 9 o'clock. But now, if you're not an annual pass holder, you have to wait until 9.30. And Chris Mandel Russo says the person that goes to Disney every weekend is now not able to get in until 9.30 and they get screwed over by this. No, that's, that's the one person not being impacted by this. You made up a fake victim. The Eagles fan that lives in Philly that goes to every game, that goes to the link every Sunday, they are going to be able to watch the game over the air. They will not have to pay for Peacock. So that's number one. But it keeps going because, oh, man, Mad Dog just loses his mind. They got to play the first opening game of the year with the Philadelphia Eagles in Sao Paulo on Peacock. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's hard to get Peacock. It's hard to get Peacock? It's hard to get Peacock. Look, there are a lot of criticisms with Peacock, and I brought up a lot of them. You can talk about how people might not be able to access it because they don't have great internet speeds. Possible delay and buffering. Not everyone's watching the game at the same time. There is valid criticisms with streaming service games even behind the paywall aspect. You mean take out the paywall aspect of it. There's valid criticisms to why we shouldn't have a game on Peacock. 
Hard to get is not one of them. It is no different than ESPN Plus or Disney Plus or Hulu or Netflix or any of those sites. It is just like every other streaming service. I will show you how easy it is to get Peacock. So take notes, Mad Dog. You might need them. All right, so what we have here is this super high-tech setup. This is for Mad Dog and for anyone out there. I found this website. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. This website's called Google. Now, I've been using it for a long, long time. I'm not sponsored by Google. I just want to disclaim that, disclose that. I'm not sponsored by them, but I really like this website. I think it's going to take off. I really think that Google is going to be the next big thing, but I don't know. We'll see. However, what's really cool about Google, if you've never used Google before, is that you can search anything and it pops up. So let's say you don't know how to find Peacock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Peacock. And oh my goodness, would you look at that? The very first thing, it takes you to the Peacock website. Now I'm going to click on this website. I'm going to hope it's the right website. And oh, okay. It takes you to the website. Now, how do I get Peacock? All right. I just click on the get started button. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing that's, that's the one you do. You click get started and you, you purchase Peacock. That, that, that actually wasn't very hard. What, I don't know what you're talking about. That, that was not hard at all. What on earth are you on about? If that was hard, you probably need to, uh, I don't even know, but you probably should not be living by yourself at this point because that is very, very easy to do. Now, he keeps going because he talks about what he wanted the game to be instead. And this is where it completely goes off the rails if it hadn't already. You're right. All right, I want to watch the game You're normal. Right. Give me fucking Aikman. Give me a, give me the CBS crew. Brady's going to do it. Give me something. All right, so based on this, I'm implying that you met CBS crew. You want the CBS crew because it's their number one crew. I mean, you said you want Joe Buck and Troy Aikman on the call. That's ESPN's number one crew. Tom Brady, he's going to be on Fox's number one crew. So I'm assuming you want the CBS crew, Jim Nance and Tony Romo. You want Tony Romo to call the game? Why? You hate the guy! You hate Tony Robo! You said he doesn't know anything about football! Remember this from two months ago? When you criticized Tony Romo's announcing? Take a listen in case you forgot! Tony, our little pal Romo, <laughs> on this particular play early in the game, you remember it? When Diggs, again, fumbled it, and the ball was knocked out of bounds by Kincaid. He got a 10-yard penalty, first play of the game. Tony said, boy, that's like the play with Franco Harris. The play with Franco Harris is the immaculate reception for crying out loud. This is the play in 72 against the Raiders in which yes. they won the game 13 to 7. And Bradshaw made this wonderful play with the late uh, Franco off Fuqua's helmet. And of course, Johnny Warren, whoever yeah. it was. And Bradshaw with the win. Pittsburgh went on. They lost to Miami the next week. That's, of course, Jack Tatum. And there's Franco. That is the play that Romo referenced. What he should have meant, he needs a history lesson, call me. This is the play that we are referring to. This is called the Holy Roller. This is 78. That's the snake. Throws the ball. They kick it into the end zone. Opening early in the year against the Chargers. And who catches the ball in the end zone? Hall of Famer, Dave Casper. They changed the rules after that. Anybody who knows anything about football knows that that play with the snake, that is the holy roller. Romo who sat there and talked about Franco when the ball is knocked out of bounds by KK. That is awful, 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 awful. Oh, this Peacock game is terrible. I can't believe they're putting Peacock announcers on it. Meanwhile, I want Tony Romo on the game, even though by my own admission, he's terrible and doesn't know anything about football history and was disgraceful calling the postseason. How does that make any sense? Do you have a short memory or something? Did you completely forget that? Did you completely forget how bad Tony Romo was? How can you say that you want CBS as number one crew on this game and then go and say that Tony Romo is not a good announcer? How does that even work? It, it just doesn't make any sense. And then he keeps going. Don't put the Eagles 9,000 miles away. 9,000 miles away? Look at a map. It Cell Bowl's not 9,000 miles away. It's a far distance, I'll give you that. It's not even 5,000 miles away, though. Try about half what you said. 9,000 miles? That's New Zealand. That's Wellington. That's Auckland. That's 
anything in that area, like Oceania or whatnot. That is not Brazil. It's not 5,000 miles away. It's not 9,000 miles away. It's it's just baffling. It's like every single thing he got in this rant was wrong. That's what lets bizarre about this. He's angry about the Peacock game, and I totally get it. Believe me, I'm angry about the Peacock game too. But my argument is based in facts. His is based in completely incorrect statements because it keeps going. Don't put the Eagles 9,000 miles away and then put them on a cable thing on Peacock. The cable thing on Peacock? What are you talking about? Peacock isn't cable. It's streaming. Cable and streaming are two different things. ESPN, the network you work for, the network that you literally said you had no problem doing the game since you said fucking Aikman, that's cable. Peacock is streaming. Two completely different things. Do you even know what you're talking about? Do you even know what you're talking about? Or are you just screaming stuff? Or are you just saying words to try and make a point, but you're not making anything whatsoever happen? And then he keeps going. And then Amazon Prime Time, you're going to scream about this in the middle of December or January. They got a wild card game, Amazon Prime Video, which means you can't switch with the emotes. You're stuck with the Amazon thing. What was the point of that rant about Amazon Prime? What's the point? You can't switch the games? Why would you want to switch? There's only one game on. They have a playoff game. That's the only game on. When's the last time they have played two playoff games at the same time? Not counting games that went to double overtime. Not counting the 1982 strike short in the season with that sham of a tournament. When's the last time they played two playoff games at the same time? Why would you want to switch? That doesn't make any sense. Didn't you just make the argument for why the NFL is doing this and why it makes sense for them? Because there's less incentive to switch off since you have to log off the app and exit out of it? Your argument for Amazon Prime isn't that it's behind a paywall, isn't that it's a streaming service, isn't that you have to pay money, isn't that there's buffering potentially, it's that it's impossible to switch the game? When there's only one game on? Well, what are we doing here? Nothing about this argument makes any sense whatsoever. So just to recap, Mad Dog hates the Peacock game, because Eagle fans in Philadelphia will not get the game. Even though, quite literally, they get the game on over-the-air television. He hates the game because it's hard to get Peacock, even though it takes about three seconds. He hates the game because he wanted CBS to do it. Even though he hates Tony Robo and hates the CBS crew. He hates it because the game is 9,000 miles away, even though it's about half that distance. He hates the game because it's a cable game, even though Peacock is streaming. Other than that, everything makes complete sense. I mean, holy cow. Not a single word that Chris Russo said in that statement was factual. That's the hysterical part about this. Everything he said was wrong. And I agree with him. I agree with him that the Peacock game is not good. I don't like games behind paywalls on Peacock. I voice my complaints about that. And I have valid concerns about the Peacock game and whether NBC can stretch themselves that thin after what we saw last postseason when they had three games one weekend, and they failed miserably because you have games that are taking place on Thursday and Sunday that NBC's doing. You have the Big Ten Saturday night game that they're going to do. Are they going to be stretched too thin? Is it going to be an amateur production like last time? That's valid criticism. Chris Russo just made stuff up. He was angry about this, but I don't think he knew the reason why he was angry about it because he just made stuff up. And I just had to talk about this bizarre rant. Because I, I was just laughing hysterically when I heard him, like, you did not say a single thing right. But what are your thoughts on Mad Dog's rant? Do you think it makes sense? Do you think it doesn't make sense? Do you like the Peacock game? Do you not like the Peacock game? What are your thoughts on games behind paywalls? Who do you think the Eagles will play in Brazil? Will it be the Packers or the Browns? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That's going to do it for this episode of JG9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check my main channel, Jaguar Gear 9 where we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, this is Jared Garrett and I signing off. And as always, go Jags.